right, let's get it. Welcome to the Make You Crunch Show. I'm your host, Mr. Prez, and I'm so excited for this podcast today. What happens on this podcast? If this is your first time listening, this podcast is about the news that is going on in your city, maybe in your town, maybe in my city, maybe in my town. But this is news that you need to know what's going on while you're at work, enjoying your lunch. Mr. Prez is here to give you the news that is happening because you don't know when you're at work. You're sitting there working. A lot of stuff is going on. And the only way for you to know what's going on is for you to listen to this podcast. And that's why I'm here to give you that news every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm delivering the news you need to know. Huh? When you get out of work, you you need to know what's going on with the food industry. You need to know what's going on in the in the in who's stealing stuff. You, you you need to know this stuff, and I'm here to give that to you. So let's get into the juice. Let's get into the juice of what's going on in my life. Huh? It's a new year. We're here, 2024. I'm excited. We we had some guests on the show. We're getting more guests on the show. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. A lot of stuff is going on in in my life right now, and it's not easy, right? Stuff is not easy, but I, I'm trying to enjoy it with my kids. I'm trying to enjoy as much fun um, and enlightenment that I can, even connecting with you all online or through this Spotify. I'm trying to connect more with you all, and I'm having fun doing it, huh? Huh? Traveling, being at home doing this podcast. I'm having fun. So that's that's the juice. Let's get into the entree now. Let's get into the the bacon wrapped chicken with garlicly garlicly am I saying that right? Garlicly garlicly bar, broccoli. Huh, that that sounds good to me. Bacon wrapped chicken? Pull a cheese in there? Huh? That the bacon in there, a little onion, a little onion in there. That that's that's delightful. And you do you got the little the healthy spot, the garlic broccoli. You got that on there. Let's get into it because this this news that that I'm reading today is is no joke. It's no joke at all. And, and y'all need to know what's going on. And I'm that's why I'm here to deliver it to you. So here we go. Oh my gosh, this man took man spreading to another level on my flight. That's that's the that that's the the headline of this. That's the headline of this. He took man spreading to another level on my flight. A female uh, let me, I'm going to read the, I'm going to read the passage for you. A female passenger filmed the moment the fellow flyer allegedly encroached on her space by doing an epic man spreading never heard of this before comfortably spreading his legs in the middle of the flight i don't know if you all been on a flight before there's not a lot of room there's not a lot of space for you to be men man spreading woman spreading whatever spreading there's not enough space for that. And, and you out here doing this? What? Sir, move your legs. If it's too, if it's too small, get the get the door, you, you know, where, where the door is on the side of the plane. I, I'm there's a lot of room there. So you can man spread and do whatever you need to there. Huh? But don't do it while people are there. Huh? Why? What what is your purpose of doing this, sir? You need to spread your legs out. Walk around. Go to the bathroom for a moment. Then come back and sit down. Y'all need to watch out for this, man. People are man spreading their legs, opening their self up in the middle of the flight. Why? If you're if you are a person who working and you take flights daily and you you run into this, excuse me, sir. Can you go to the door? Can you go to the door where there's a lot more room on this plane so you don't have to spread your legs all out? 
I, and I understand because there's some NBA players and there's really tall people who are not NBA players that just need leg room, right? One of my one of my good friends, he's tall. I think he's almost like I, I don't know six six five. I think maybe six four, six three. He's tall, right? He he can't sit in a normal seat like I can. I'm five eleven, huh? Five eleven. I can't. I can't do that, right? But he he has to man spread his legs out, and, and, and the only way for you to do that is to either book a first class. If you can't afford the first class, go ahead and go to the door. Go to the door. Stop playing around and go to the door. Who I hope I hope this I hope this podcast is helping y'all out because y'all need to know one if you're the person that's doing this stop. No one likes it. And no one's telling you this. I need to tell you this. So stop. Stop doing that, sir. And we're not excluding the women. We're not excluding you. You need to stop this, too. If you're doing this, women spreading, women spreading, stop it. Oh, let me get to this next one, because y'all, y'all need to be more considerate about people in their personal space. You're listening to your headphones. You're listening to whatever's going on in your head. You're not even looking out the outside skirts of what's going on. You need to start looking on the outside skirts of what's happening. Huh? Be be considerate. In 2024, let's be considerate, huh? All right, let's get into this next one. I'm sending my DNA to the moon when i die why 13k space burials are skyrocketing they are they're paying thirteen thousand dollars to send themselves to the moon oh my gosh let me let me read this A retired physics professor in the Midwest is planning to have his DNA launch to the southern pole of the moon. Southern pole? What? When he dies. So it may be used for cloning one day. Wow. It says he's not alone. So there's more. There's more people doing this. I'm not going to say his name. He's 86 years old. Lives in Kansas. If you want to go check it out. Um, on the internet, you can see his name, but he's 86 years old thinking about sending his, his DNA to the moon, South Southern pole of the moon. Don't know what that, where that's at. Yeah, that's, that's, this is crazy. Why, why would you, why would you pay this amount of money to send yourself your DNA to the moon. They already have your DNA. That's that's the crazy part. And then you're going to spend $13,000? It says here, the average cost of a funeral is 10,000. So you're paying 13, three three more thousand, 3,000 more dollars to send your 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 DNA to the moon. So you can one day hopefully be cloned. It says this this moon landing or this 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 thing, this company uh, is going to start sending it on Christmas Eve to land on the moon. Wow. So this was last year. So his remains is on the moon. It, I don't know if he's still on the earth today living, but his DNA is there. And then he wants them to clone him. Why would they? This is what I'm thinking right here, right? They're not sending your DNA. They're keeping it. They're keeping it here. They're, they're saying that they're going to send it to the moon, but they're going to keep it here and still clone you. Still would you do what you do, what you want to uh, you ask them to do. But they're going to keep keep the money. And, and keep your DNA so they can clone you. They just got the rights for you signing to clone you. But you never made it to, to the moon. Huh? Never made it. How does that make you feel? And I hope, I almost said his name. I hope you're listening to this in Kansas City. 
in Kansas. I don't know if it's Kansas City. That you need just you just need to know that they stole your DNA. They ain't steal it. You gave you gave them your DNA for thirteen thousand dollars. That the that's a perfect world, right? That's a perfect world where I'm receiving money and getting something scientifically to benefit us. They're benefiting themselves, right? Because at the end of the day, once they clone you, that money that they're using to get cloned and doing all this stuff, they're getting more money from it. Huh? Even if you're cloned, listen, even if you're cloned, right? Let's say they clone you. Once you're cloned, you're going to go back into the world and start working again. And it says you're a professor. What if your clone self comes back or they make yourself into a clone and you're not a professor? Now you're working at a factory. Now you're working at McDonald's. Now you're at Burger King. You became a professor, sent your DNA. Now you now you're not even a professor anymore. Now you're not even making your hundred thousand or however much money you were making. Now you're not making that anymore. Now your clone is suffering. You could have just passed, went on with life. You lived a good life, becoming a professor, went to school. Got, I don't know if you're married, got kids or whatever you got. Now your clone is suffering because now it, it doesn't have the brain or power that you have. When you're studying these and things like that, you don't know. You don't know what DNA is passing to this. Now, he probably has the bad DNA. Now he's out here stealing. Now your name is tainted because he's out here stealing now. You just don't know. And you pay $13,000 for this. Wow. Wow. That's, that's the news, y'all. That's, that's, this is what people is doing in the world. And you don't know this. I'm just here to deliver it to you. I'm just here to give you what's going on. This one, this next one is a shocker. This one makes you just want to grow your own food at your house. Listen, man's $186 grocery order packed with disgusting delivery. All this poo came out. Huh? I'm I'm reading the headline. I'm going to read it one more time. Man's $186 grocery order packed with disgusting delivery. All this poo came out. All this poo came out. Let's read it. An an online food shopper got much more than his uh than he bargained for. When a large amount of human waste popped out of the bags in which his $186 grocery order was packed last week, all this poo fell out. This is him saying this. All this poo fell out. And I was totally shocked. I thought, what on earth is this? The unlucky customer almost said his name. The unlucky customer. He ordered $186 worth of grocery. And guess what popped out? Not groceries. Not groceries. Groceries didn't pop out. Human, I'm going to say human remains, human waste. The, who? Okay, let's, let's back this thing up. Who in their right mind would just sit there, put some waste in a, in a bag? What did this man do to you? Did you know him? Was there something he did to you? Did he did you type? Because I know, I know I used to do shipped, right? They're not they're not sponsoring this video, but they're they're friends of the pod. I used to do shipped, right? If if someone was out of if one of the stores was out of stock or something, I was like, hey, this is out of stock. What would you like me to replace it with? What if the guy was like, I don't want you to replace it, find it. Like he was giving like so much attitude to him. Don't I don't don't come to this house if you don't have that broccoli, if you don't have that 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 those chips that I need. Right. He was giving him an attitude. He said, "Okay, sir, I told you they don't have it. What else can I get you? He said, I don't want nothing else. Get me my bag of chips. Right. He said, "Okay, I got one better on you instead of a bag of chips. I'm going to give you a bag 
of human waste, right? I'm going to give you a bag of human waste. So now he go to get his groceries. It ain't nothing but poo in there. Hmm? Big old whopping poo. Big one, right? What? No, I, I don't. Oh, hold on. Oh, my gosh. They took a picture of it and posted it online. It looks like there's stuff in there. Oh, I wish y'all, if you're listening to this, I wish you could see this because it there's like little pink stuff in there. I wonder, this is what I wonder. He ate some of the groceries and then he pooped it out and put it in the bags. Hmm. Huh? Y'all be, y'all be careful out here. Be nice to people because your $186 groceries might end up with poo in it so y'all need to be making y'all need to make sure y'all nice (coughs) make sure you're nice (coughs) oh oh that water i don't know how long that water's been sitting there y'all need to be nice to people stop being so mean this is this is what this is why i'm here to tell you guys because if you're getting off work and you're giving the person because you ordering food um you're ordering your groceries while you're at work and they're telling you hey we don't have this be nice to them because you don't want a bag of poop you don't want to end up with a bag of poo a diarrhea that that's what it says end up with some diarrhea in his bag So that means they might have took some laxative. They probably ordered, bought some laxative, probably with his money, that grocery money, bought some laxative, ate some of his food, shot it right out into the bags. Huh? Shot it right out into them bags. And now you have to live with that. Now you have to live with that poo in the bag. Give him a one star rating. Wow. Wow. That, that was crazy. That article was crazy. Let's get into this next one. Grilled ice cubes cooked on a barbecue are specially specialty made street food in China. When, when did ice cubes become food? When we added barbecue? When we started barbecue in them? I'm looking at this right now. They got seasoning and putting, putting sauce on. They putting sauce on it, y'all. Oh, ice. We can't eat ice. We drink. It, once it melts, it you're drinking it, right? Right? Am I crazy? You can't eat. You can't eat ice. Let me read this. It appears that we hit rock bottom when it comes to bizarre food trends. A Chinese street hawker. I don't know what that means. Redefines cold cuts. Oh my gosh. After they observed cooking ice cubes on a grill, wouldn't it wouldn't it melt? What are ice cubes water and it's just gonna melt? A street hawker that redefines cold cuts after they observe cooking ice cubes on a grill. And I'm looking at this picture right now, y'all, and it's making my head itch. Because they're legitly putting season on it, seasoning on it, and sauce on top of a grill. That that ice is melting. Right? Right? That ice is melt. You can't eat ice. I don't I don't understand it. You may crunch ice, then it turns into water and it just melts, and you're drinking it now. So they're actually they're this isn't actually a smart thing. Because people are dumb enough to buy this order it they're ordering water they can just turn on the faucet make ice boom how much that cost them not even some pennies right they turn it on some water they can go to a a a hotel and get some water turn it into ice right electricity because you gotta put it in the refrigerator then they're buying seasoning then they're buying sauce so what one plate probably cost them 10 yang i don't know how much that is 10 point 0.5 0.5 yang I, I don't know if that's what their currency is but they're making they're making bank off this that's a smart idea dumb and smart dumb and smart 
Because you, you're cooking ice on a grill. People are watching this. Ooh, I need to try this. That looks interesting. Add more sauce on mine, sir. Add more sauce on mine, please. I just don't, I just don't understand people anymore. I just don't understand. And don't y'all bring that, and they're serving it on plate. Don't y'all bring this over here. If I go to a Chinese restaurant and I see on the menu barbecued ice, I might have to try it, actually. Just to say that I did it. I might try it. Am I going to agree with it? No. Am I going to order it again? No. But I, I, I'll try it. I will pay the $10, the 10 yang, yin yang for this meal. And no, it's not even going to be a meal. It better be an appetizer. Because if this is a full meal, I'm still going to leave hungry. I'm still going to be not satisfied. Huh? I'm still not going to be satisfied. I'm going to still need to order some more chicken and rice and fries. and Not chicken and fries, but chicken and rice. Give me the orange chicken with fried rice because this ice is not going to fill me up this ice is not going to do it they're putting spicy uh seasoning on it and they're putting sauce on it and grilling it how would i even know if it's grilled will it taste grilled will i know it's grilled will it taste like it's been grilled <sighs> that's crazy and don't don't cook the chicken and the rice on the same grill Wow, 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 wow. I'm so glad for you all tuning in and listening to this news. Huh? Because we're getting into the dessert now. <sighs> this English, this New England apple cider cake. That's what we're getting into. It's like the cake taste sounds good. I haven't had it before, but it sounds like it's going to be d- delicious. I would try it. I wouldn't try no ice, though. So we talked about man spreading right spreading his legs on the plane don't don't you do it a woman spreading don't you do it we talked about sending people sending their dna to the moon huh don't 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 do this there's no reason because they're not even going to send it they're just going to keep it in a lab they're just going to keep it in a lab and you, you and you just lost you lost your 1300 dollars we talked about a man getting groceries and someone pooping in it huh be careful out here y'all check your groceries be nice to the people who's getting the groceries because you don't want poo in it we talked about grilled ice grilled grilled ice they're just seasoning it and putting sauce on it grilling it and calling it an entree i'm so glad you guys are listening to the news that's going on i need you i need you all to listen I need you all to be tuned in on what's going on in the world. Once you step out of work, once you're 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 out in the in the real world, there's things that's going on that you need to know. And guess what? This is another thing I want you to know. Do you don't try to be somebody else. Don't try to be who you see on the internet. Those people are fake. They're fake. Mr. Press is real. I'm going to give you the real, real, the do real, real. I'm going to give it to you, right? But do you stop trying to be everyone else on the internet? I want to see the real you, huh? I want to see the real you. Don't be fake and melty like ice. Be strong and bold and courageous, create, 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 be courteous, be courageous, I don't know the word. Just be it. If I'm saying the wrong word, just just be the word you know I'm trying to say. Courageous. I think that's the word. Just be it. And thank you for listening. If you're on Spotify, there's a uh, a, a description where you can write your favorite drink, entree, and dessert. Write it down because I want to know what it is. And I'll let you know if it's good or not. I'll let you know. But I need you to to, to write something down there let me know what it is because it may be good some of y'all stuff is good some of y'all stuff is nasty thank you subscribe follow 
share share this to your friends if they seen you laugh while you're at work you need to know they need to know why you're laughing you say mr press is giving me that real news and that's why i'm laughing spread spread the joy and love and peace to everyone and remember take a shower take a sh- some of you are not taking showers y'all just get up in the morning and go you just get up and go take a shower brush your teeth after you had a good meal you're supposed to brush your teeth twice a day and floss some people don't floss huh floss y'all be good i appreciate y'all mr press is out